Hello, I'm Dr. Aimeen Delgado Borrego. I'm a pediatric gastroenterologist at the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine. I was asked by the editors of Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology to discuss an article soon to be published entitled Reduction of Insulin Resistance with Effective Clearance of Hepatitis C Infection Results from the HALT-C Trial. Hepatitis C virus infection has been associated with increased prevalence of diabetes and insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is not only a precursor to diabetes, but it's also a risk factor for coronary heart disease, hypertension, and mortality. Insulin resistance is of particular relevance in HCV infection because it can accelerate the progression of liver fibrosis and is associated with diminished response to antiviral therapy. But what is the basis for the association between hepatitis C and insulin resistance? Given the cross-sectional nature of most studies up to date, as well as the presence of multiple confounders, causality has not been established. Therefore, the motivating question for our study was the following. Does hepatitis C infection induce insulin resistance? Since it is very difficult to identify incident cases of acute HCV infection in order to evaluate insulin resistance, we chose to pursue a different, more feasible approach which was to determine whether insulin resistance would improve with clearance of the hepatitis C virus infection. We performed an ancillary investigation within the recently completed hepatitis C antiviral long-term treatment against cirrhosis multicenter trial. This trial evaluated HCV-infected adults with advanced hepatic fibrosis or cirrhosis who had failed prior therapy. In order to enter our study, patients had to have documented fasting status at the time of blood sample collection. Subjects with diabetes mellitus, those carrying the HCV genotype 3, and patients with undetectable insulin levels were excluded. Medical histories were reviewed, while laboratory and liver histology data obtained as part of the HALSI trial were evaluated. In addition, we measured insulin and adipokine levels collected at week zero and week 20 within the trial. Patients were classified as responders, partial responders, or non-responders to treatment based on viral load or HCV RNA levels at week zero and week 20. The primary objective of our study was to evaluate whether change in insulin resistance between week zero and week 20 correlates with extent of response to treatment. Insulin resistance was estimated using a validated and widely accepted model, namely the homeostasis model assessment, or HOMA version two. Through multivariate analysis that controlled for baseline insulin resistance, we observed a positive correlation between level of hepatitis C clearance and change in insulin resistance. In other words, responders to treatment underwent a more substantial reduction or improvement in insulin resistance, followed by partial responders and non-responders to treatment in whom insulin resistance did not improve. We then performed a thorough evaluation to determine whether our results could be explained by confounding factors. When adjusting for body mass index, age, gender, duration of infection, hepatic fibrosis, and steatosis, as well as adipokines, including tumor necrosis factor alpha, and adiponectin, our results remained essentially unchanged. In summary, we found that insulin resistance improves with clearance of hepatitis C viremia. Our results provide support for a causal role of hepatitis C in the induction of insulin resistance. Based on our findings, improvement in insulin resistance might be an added benefit to HCV treatment. Further studies are needed to clarify the mechanisms of HCV-associated insulin resistance, as well as to evaluate the effect of early identification and management of insulin resistance in the setting of hepatitis C infection. Thank you.